Hey you, what's up guys? Welcome back to the another Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay. So today guys, our episode 3. So pamunta na tayo sa Lizzie's bar because it's already been 10:38 p.m. na. And between 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. so pwede tayo bro. Wait. I sell ano dito so let's try to sell some stuff all right so sub machine gun 80 let's sell this um assault rifle let's sell this yep let's sell that what about our clothes mm wag muna junk ano to oh the that scope we have my scope na pala tayo guys so junks jail sell junks yes we need to sell that junk so may 1429 na tayo okay all right and also ito pwede pwede to ma no attachments Wait, but in the 80 78 80. Wait, dalawa pala yung ano ko, man. We need to sell the other other machine gun 80 to 78. So, sell that. Okay. Okay, we're good. Draw our sub machine gun. Siyempre. Assault rifle pala. Dapat assault rifle tayo sa atin. Hindi muna tayo magsishot ganyan. You know? Guess that's good. Oy, my hat. Bagong hat. Wala pala. Ano ito? Okay, what a cool looking shades. You can, we can keep that. We can keep that. And then. Okay, may available points. Balik tayo sa intelligence. Alright. So, tapos na tayo sa reflexes. Dito tayo naman tayo sa technical ability. And then, we go crafting. Nah, I don't know about the crafting, guys. But, yeah. Let's go to Lizzie's bars. Hide natin itong baril. Pa, di tayo ma... Tag. Di tayo ma patay. I mean makulong ng mga polis. So let's go to Elise's bar while listening to the radio. Wait, let's change the radio. Let's change the radio. Um, Pacific dreams. Oh, let's go. Let's go Pacific Dreams. Bro. Let's listen to the music. By the way, yung driving niya, guys. Very, very amazing. I mean, good. Very, very good. Para siyang, ano talaga, man. Yung physics niya sa car. It's all good. Yung turning. Yung braking. Para talaga siyang toto. But I think may pagkakulang siya sa braking. Yun lang. But overall, it's good naman bro. Overall, it's good. Ay, ay, ay. Ito na naman. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ay, ay, ay. Buti na. Buti na lang walang polis, bro. Buti na lang walang polis, guys. And I should stop start... I Stop saying bro. Just, hindi naman... Bro, I think, lot nanonood sa akin. So, yeah. Pero fair, guys. Okay, bahala naman. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? No, 
Not my first time. Don't remember you. Because I didn't get into the fun. Ha! <laughs> get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. I need a nap. Just a short one. Huh? Okay. So, we're here at the bar. Sit at the bar and ask about Evelyn. Okay. I have warning you. I, I have connections. Oh, depends what you're into. Maybe you can tell me about it. Hey. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, and had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. What's on the menu? It's all tequila. I mean, drinks. And I don't wanna drink. Cause, you know, naman guys. Oh, what is this? Full potential unlock at body 6. Oh, so we can use this machine gun. Light machine gun. If our body is on level 6. Level 5 pa yung body natin. But, yeah, malapit na mag level 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on, know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Oh man, need a pity. I'm thirsty, bro. I need to <laughs> drink some tequila, man. Inside? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, okay, guys, don't watch that, guys. Okay. Bowel's a YouTube, Bowel's a YouTube. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. 
I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki in Tokyo still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that, true. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka, in Night City. <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Sapuro Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why's that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City? And a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you... Spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Nope, don't buy it. Now watch his integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So, what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because your Nobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. 
provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Study finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Yeah. Jack and I too in those boxes. Like no. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Mm -hmm. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Mm -hmm. V, this is important. Uh -uh. Judy's no, always been there no, for no, me. No, 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 no. Always helped out. Uh, I do not I trust her. hear it. But she's a Mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make you barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD yet? What do you think? Will it do? It's still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. 
Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down. Settle in. And we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? Model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue viral. Mm hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander. To grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things. Mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. Can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Besides, won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearing. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. See you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. 
So analysis mode, you control playback, can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Flat simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Flat simple. Do nothing odd. Don't no create. You can get the special cash. Yeah. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Flat simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Alright, so visual layer, thermal layer, and sound layer, okay. Bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Let's scan this pistol. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Where's the left ship? Okay. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Restock. I'll take the register. And a How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay? Eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. serpent. Everybody! On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Okay, so switch between Brendan's layers first. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello, nice. Now, wait until the gun punches out the gonk at the counter. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. 
beady freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here while I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kunpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kunpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. You look like a cop. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Fuckable meat, are you? Wait, my cool long. Wait, what? Cool long though, bro. What is this? Change? No, we're still in the visual, man. But wala ako magita na. Okay, let's proceed. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for good. Sound source. Here in a drone. Ventilation and cooling. Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Okay, so back to visual. Voila. Ito. 
kamera Wala na ba? Wala na Make yourself comfortable I need a minute Listen in on that conversation V Could be something important I need a minute to finish The program is still in the trial phase We cannot take it to market as is We shall see soon enough Please speak with your father He has taken a particular interest in this project He can certainly explain the risks My father is tired Visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Sabro is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide no. them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Okay, so... In the visual layer, scan your name with data pad while it's turned on. So we go back. Where's the data pad, bro? The data pod, right? For this, then you have good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to much. But how? I must be on it. Cannot take it to market as is. I said, this is our eyes. I said, oh, they'll have my what? Then you shall perish for a good cause. Well, I'm a good of room. I don't know what's next, man. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Lanaba? You don't bother to to me. Well, I'm not. Oh, got any candy left? I really don't know. Well. Well, so. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. 
Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Okay. Thermal layer is now unlocked to switch between... Okay. So this... Okay. Need to go back, right? Yep. R. like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. No, it's all I done. Cannot take it too much. I'll see you soon enough. So the guy out there. Oh. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Okay. Finish. Easy, bro. I mean, guys. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. It's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Alright, so I think we're done here, guys. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kompeki. Winds are right. The plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Mm. Mm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V. I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything? Like me. I think I see how you know so much about your Nobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. I want to fuck over our fixer. I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. 
That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You're sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Of course! You can count on me, babe. Mm -hmm. How things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. Baker. My, what a sweet little face you have. Going in or staying out? Right? So, we're done with our mission. And, nagka interesting na talaga yung mission natin, guys. So, yeah, let's proceed. Okay. The highs. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I need to open all of my. Oh yeah, pala yung ano natin bro character. So let's go for the body na. Let's try sa technical and then cool. That's good. And also for the crafting, I don't know about this guys. Ola talo ng idea about sa crafting. But yeah, side jobs should be. Wait for the lockout and receive all. Okay, so morning pala yung lockdown, right? Mamag end. So di tayo maka side gig mo na. Ola pa, kulang pa. So yeah, let's go for the ice man. Let's go for the heist. Hey! Hey, what oh, are what's you? What's going on? Oh, nagbug yung game. Really, bro? Ay ay ay! First time ever nagbug. Di talaga mawala yung mga bug. So, let's try to recall our car here. If Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Na traffic pa. Wait, parang nagbog yun. Wait, let me save this first. Parang nagbog yung screen ko I don't know and also like yung crosshair niya ba parang nagbag yung crosshair let's see if ma fix bagi pa yung game na to alam niya na okay see nawala na yung crosshair Bagi pa talaga every game, may bag talaga bro. Lalo na pag lunch day, may bag talaga, may bag. 
every game, every game. But overall, of my experience in Cyberpunk, okay lang siya. Eh. Overall, it's good. Ay, 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 no. Wait, ano to? Ah, okay, fast travel pala. Okay, okay. Mamá, te vas a enterar mañana. Yo también te quiero, ma. Yeah, about time, Holmes. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! Funny. What? The club with the hottest contracts in town. Doesn't look like all it's bigged up to be. It's what's inside that counts, Chum. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! I don't know what he's talking about. Place used to be a morgue. The cherry yeah. pop. Who would have thunk? I know, right? Way before our time, that. When proper burials were still a thing. There's no fucking space. Hindi ko makuha yung ilot. Ay, ay, ay. Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? Alright then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. This is afterlife, man. Jordan, Night City. They're there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All set on no. Looks like we're up. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Two old Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? It's nothing. Mind blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Night City and the afterlife. <laughs> Who 
Who else can I drink here? All on the menu. Except there's a spot missing. Morgan Blackhand, right? <laughs> True. Morgan's yet to make up his mind if he's dead or still kicking. <laughs> Nobody knows what happened to him. Think he's still alive? It's been years. Why not? Look at Rogue. Peaked from that era, a species unto themselves. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. I live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer. Oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I remember that. I heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Dishon, Dex a regular? You come here a lot? It's sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. He didn't show his face for nearly two years. The Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, Oh, right? not Boogie Summit. Well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. I guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. Tarana. Tarana, tarana. Sorry, bro. Dishon, no like yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Break a leg. Thanks. Same here, no, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Let's see this bad boy. Alright then. Set your butts down comfy. Thanks for your help back at the scav haunt. A few Reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> city Hall should be fucking thanking us. Sweet booth. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza inside from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target? Yorinobu Arisaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just wanted to see what's good, or was there something else? She just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deep. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. 
Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. How do we get into Penthouse? Your Nobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be Penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Kunpeki's dweller. Elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the Dweller's Den from the outside. Hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hit you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the Flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the Dweller, and force the Dweller to... take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the Dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? These new identities. Tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Harry Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? Transports at Delamay. Bremis Cab Company in all night city. Not a man. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamay just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamay will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The no-tell motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Anything else? Okay, feel brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same and non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours, as determined by me. Come on, Dex. Isn't that a little low? Hey, hold on, Holmes. Who got the flathead? Who pulled the intel from the brain dance? And we're going in a hotel full of soccer men to swipe some fucking toy from the boss's son. We are the job. Hmm. And who's providing transport? A top-tier net runner and a lead-proof plan and intel? You sure you want to go down this road? Hello? Fine, Dex. Made your point. Wise choice. Last thing. Kompeki's got a strict no-iron policy. Security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Chilo. Thanks, D. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops, to my guess. And what do we do while we... Sit around, suck air. You sit tight, heads down, because old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. I'm good, no questions. Let's get to work. Are you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. In getting rich, you mean? Welcome on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Bitch. Better fucking believe I will. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh, yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. 
three months I've been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. Excelsior. The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamate, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me. You'll mow down an army of Zaka ninjas if it comes down to it. This combat mode even legal? Of course it is. The Second Amendment says so. While on board, you are entirely within your rights to bear and use me. Excelsior, what else is included? Comprehensive health coverage, including the handling and disposal of a client's remains should death occur on board. Damn. Shit got dark pretty quick. Dex ain't skimping, is he? He's taking 70% of the pot. Or have you forgotten already? Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. You wouldn't get overly excited. Hmm? Haven't gotten there. Not yet. No, Jack. Kinda feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. I need you to keep your head clear and in the game. We got a job to do. It's never, ever been clear in my whole fucking life. Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around our destination. And I ain't going back. No, hey. Sorry, bro. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be uh pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Kopeki. V ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And? Hmm. Got static. Say something, bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Aristotle. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? I want more Aristotle. Fuck off, Bo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tech checks out, looks like. Era mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. Shit's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? All right, Harry. Let's go. What shake at night, city? Your man Stan here. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. All right. Let's go for our mission now. The heist. We're out front, bug. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech Welcome department. Welcome to Kopeki, Papers Black. are for the flathead. Don't worry. Got this. Welcome to Kompeki Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home. Uh, <clears throat> sir. <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Sir, care to explain why you're bringing a combat bot onto Kompeki Plaza premises? We're arms dealers. Excuse me? Ah, you are here to see Taki-san. Am I right? 
Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this should only take a moment, sir. Go ahead. Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Konpeki Plaza. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of your arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, B. Stall. Have I asked you to do that? Uh, no. I just thought that since... Who asked you to think? Excuse me? I know damn well it wasn't me. Who was it? A word of advice, if I may. Do only what you're told to do. Now, what was that room number? You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli Suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Hunter's all yours, Harry. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. Oh, so Japanese. Didn't come on too strong? Trust me. Places like this, you're either strong or you're nobody. So Japanese pala tong hotel na to. What do you think, Harry? Hmm? Quaint. Cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. What? I'm taking this seriously. Di pala Chinatown yung nasa ano dun? Parang market. Japan town pala. <laughs> sige, sige. The top of the line doors. Bar don't look too shabby. Nothing. Welcome to Kompeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekdays, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. Wouldn't hurt to take a peek inside. Shit. Looks like some fucking traveling salesman with this case. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> I have the right time. I'm just gonna check this man. I wanna roam to see the people, the details. Alright. Oh. When I say heads are gonna roll, I don't mean it as a fucking turn of phrase. Had enough, guy? Don't you think? Making another customer oh. even more. Go to elevator. We're done. I'm done. Where is Kojima? Yun. Pala Kojima. Pala. Para, para nga, para nga. I don't know. Maybe that's an easter egg. Pero di pa ako sure if si Kujima yun, man. Di ako sure, guys. About time. Ganda ng hotel, no? Sana all makapasok dito. Sa ganitong klaseng hotel. Whoa, so this is our room, eh? Our room. Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Buck. Didn't pick it for snazz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough. Simplicity sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius, Aristotle, who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Flathead prep to go? Almost there, Carnal. Got 
Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. Stock. Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. B, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in-camp view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Oh, grabe naman yun. Bawal yun sa YouTube, okay, man. Bawal. You. you can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Arasaka will cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. Yan lang ba yung chef? This isn't about oh, okay. money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People will start saying I've lost control of Watson. District I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise you. We will try. And that is all I can promise you. Are we good? Yep. Okay, Flathead's in. Patching you into next cam now. What makes you think it was for you? He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who finds him. Note inside that... Sorry for the mess. There was blood everywhere. But at least he left a tip. Am I the only one that just gets puke and youth uh, condoms? Bug, got a hitch. Where's the damn justice in it? Housekeeping's in my way. Okay, got a distractor. Uh, let's see what's on the subnet. Think he's All right, single? on it. Who? You know, good-looking, filthy rich. Have that naughty look in his eye. He's staying in the penthouse. Terrarian's got a control panel. Men like him Somehow, I doubt it. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart. Always itching for a ride. Terrarian's got a temp and air quality controller. <laughs> I'd give him a ride. Great, yeah. And stick the flathead on it. Out. Honey, stick to wiping that glass, huh? You're leaving streaks everywhere. Bug, it worked. <laughs> Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting. What a slick move. Nice one, flathead. Enter the show, flathead. Be careful in there, flathead. Okay. Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. I've got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah, look around for a CCTV port. Got the port. Okay, have the flathead jack in. I'm so good at hacking, man. To connect okay. the into a little it. camera is pressed through. Now oh. toggle over to the other cam. Well, he's inside. Just as planned. Still weird, the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. Flathead ought to be able to neutralize him. Good thinking. Let me graft a demonoid onto your link. And you know you gotta jack the flathead directly into his chair, right? Make it sound like I'm new at this. Okay, sent. He's all yours. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Thank you. 
Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other camp. Another camp? My other camp, huh? Okay. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second camp. Nice. Flathead into the chair, B. Jack in. We're good, guys. I'm so good at hacking. It is so easy, bro. Ooh, got him. Love those demons. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Kompeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. Así es como se hace. How you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. A couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks, I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. All right, so we're done in our mission, and uh, let's go and save this. Yun, and yeah, well, I think we're we're done for ep episode three. So yeah, thank you again, guys, for watching. Hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And ring that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos soon. So, yeah, everything's good. I do really love this game. The details, the gameplay, the stories. And may balang talagang ano. Uh, hindi ko gets, but yeah, I'm still working on it. Lalo na yung waypoint pag magde drive ka sa car sa map. Hindi ko patala gets, but. Yeah, thank you again guys. So, see you in the next episode. Five likes for another episode. Peace.